To get the fastest speed from your home internet connection, connect your devices like computers and game consoles directly to your Wi-Fi gateway using an ethernet cable. Wired connections are always faster than wireless ones. However, if you're like most people, you know how convenient it is to connect your devices to your home network with Wi-Fi. But did you know that the strength of your Wi-Fi signal has a direct effect on the internet speed of your devices? The weaker the Wi-Fi signal, the slower your speed. Think about when you have a conversation with another person. If you're in the same room, you can hear each other clearly. But let's say one of you walks down the hall. The further you are from each other, the harder it is to keep the conversation going, and it takes longer to communicate. As you move away from your Wi-Fi gateway, your Wi-Fi signal gets weaker. The connection between your gateway and your device can be lost or momentarily interrupted. When this happens, bits and pieces of data are lost and must be retransmitted, maybe multiple times, and it will take longer for your video to start, web page to load, or download to complete. This makes it feel like your internet speed has slowed down. Let's go back to that conversation with your friend. If you move into another room or to another floor in your home, the conversation becomes even more difficult. You might only catch every other word, or you might ask each other to repeat what was said. That makes the conversation take a lot longer than if you were next to each other. Something similar happens with Wi-Fi signals. Obstacles and structures in your home, like doors, floors, walls, mirrors, glass, concrete, metal, and even fish tanks can all weaken your signal. Are there other things that might interfere with your Wi-Fi signal? Yes. Let's revisit our example. You're downstairs now, and it's already hard to keep the conversation going. Then, someone starts playing music. It's nearly impossible to hear what your friend is saying. Signals from other Wi-Fi networks and home appliances like microwave ovens, baby monitors, and cordless phones can all interfere with your Wi-Fi connections. So what can you do to get more out of your Wi-Fi? Ideally, your gateway should be placed in a central location in your home, up off the floor. Avoid putting it in a cabinet or closet. Move appliances like microwave ovens, cordless phones, or baby monitors away from your gateway or your Wi-Fi devices whenever possible. If you can't do that, try moving your device closer to your gateway. The closer it is, the stronger the Wi-Fi signal will be. And when speed really matters, like when you're streaming videos or playing online games, consider connecting your device directly to the gateway with an ethernet cable. Wired connections are always faster than Wi-Fi. To help troubleshoot any Wi-Fi or internet speed issues, download the free AT&T Smart Home Manager app from Google Play or the Apple App Store. With the app, you can measure your Wi-Fi signal strength in different places and identify those weak spots. If you have Wi-Fi dead zones or weak spots, add Wi-Fi extenders to your network. Wi-Fi extenders connect to your gateway and boost your Wi-Fi coverage, eliminate dead zones, and increase signal strength throughout your home. To learn more about internet speed, go to the att.com slash optimize your connection page. Or check out our video, Troubleshooting with Smart Home Manager. Thanks for choosing AT&T.